in my limited experience, uh, most people fall into two categories, uh, with a, a third being a kind of category that's slowly dissolving. Those two categories are category one, people who love their laptops or their desktop computers. People who just love, they go out and buy the newest whatever it is they're into, when the new one comes out, they just, you know. The second group of people are people who, if it wasn't for school or their job, probably would not have a regular computer in their life whatsoever. And they're totally comfortable just doing everything on the ever increasingly more capable smartphones. Um, and then that last little group, the last little group are uh, Luddites, Luddites, people who just don't care. Uh, people who just, you know, they're the ones that brag about having a brick phone. Um, but that group, that group is shrinking away. The cell phone only groups, they're really increasing in size. This is both bad and good for laptop nerds like myself. Um, and part of the reason why it's good is because older hardware, the price drops ridiculously fast. And I'm especially talking about uh, business class hardware today. I'm a proud owner of a ThinkPad X230, a 2012-2013 i5 ultra-portable laptop that is absolutely phenomenal. Let's take a little quick tour around the body of this pretty badass little laptop. The screen is a 12.5 inch IPS with pretty good viewing angles. I've upgraded the keyboard to the backlit keyboard. Presently there are three keyboards you can choose from on this particular model. The non-backlit, the backlit one I have here, and of course retrofitting an X220 mechanical keyboard. On the left hand side you have two USB 3 ports, a D-Bus slash VGA port, and a display port. It's a mini display port, so you might need an adapter. There's also an express card slot, though I haven't made good use of it yet. It's kind of hard to see right here, but there's also a physical switch for the wireless. On the right hand side, you have a third USB 3 port, which is actually powered, so even when the machine's turned off, um, you can still charge devices and make your ThinkPad a giant cell phone battery. Just above that, is the SD card slot. Next to that, the gigabit ethernet, audio headphone jack, and this big slab here is actually where you can remove the hard drive. This little piece back here, that's just a Kensington lock. So let's take a peek at the specs of this laptop. Neo Fetch. So this particular one I'm running Debian Stretch because I am big on stability and I don't care about flash. Um, so first thing we notice, we got the Intel i5-3320, four core, well, I think it's, it's four core? I think it's four core, not ah, four threads. So technically two cores, four threads. But anyways, um, Neovetch, yes. So this particular one, um, I have an external monitor right now, so I'm 1080p. Um, pretty fast, pretty snappy. I cranked it up to 16 gigabytes of RAM because that's the max and I want lots of RAM, obviously, because I'm running the GNOME desktop. I need a little extra anyways. And right now I have a 240 gigabyte solid state hard drive. Nice and snappy. So if you want to pick one of these up, they sell them on eBay. Now I paid a little bit more. I paid closer to 140. And if you look on here, they got them 220, 130, different specs, different settings. Um, but I've seen them for as low as 60 bucks sometimes. Um, and if you if you are the kind of person that computes at a desk, I cannot recommend enough getting yourself a cheap little dock. This is the one I got. It supports two monitor outs on the back there. Uh, let's see if I can click on that so you can see it. But yeah, um, dual monitor outputs. Um, gigabit Ethernet, six USB ports, and it uses the same exact uh, power cable that your laptop takes. So you just kind of snap in the place and snap it back out. Very nice, very groovy.
So, not to say, even though this thing is incredibly awesome, it's not without any limitations. In fact, there are some limitations that are so strong, they might even be deal breakers. Uh, for one, um, some hardware requires to be on the whitelist for the BIOS. That includes the wireless chipset and the battery. These are things that sometimes are easily fixed with a BIOS patch or using core boot, but for those who aren't comfortable compiling their own BIOS, that might be a, a severe deal breaker. The touchpad is, is a point of contention. Um, but outside of all those elements, if you can put up with those things, is the ThinkPad X230 an amazing, amazing hardware, especially for the price? Yeah. Uh, it's become my daily driver. I do my, my Monday through Friday job on it. I edit videos like this one on it. It's a powerful little beast, and the fact that you can pick it up for less than $200 and very often less than $100, that says something. Alright guys, peace.